Okay guys, it is Sunday and I'm going to attempt to get this tile off today. Um, let's give it a go. All right, I got the first bit of tile off. It's a little harder than I thought, but definitely possible. So here's how it's looking. Really, this is the biggest issue is this thing is way too thick. If I had a thinner one, it would work better. So I'm finding screwdriver is actually better for getting these off, but it might be best to get a different one. I'd say I'm a little over halfway done getting the tile off. It's taking a while. This is just one of my favorite things ever, like looking at the mountains while showering. Okay, I showered, washed my hair, left the purple shampoo on too long. Not sure if you can tell, but a little silvery purple. I don't really mind too much. And now I'm getting ready. I need to record part of a video today um, and then get like a better chisel for my little DIY project. I want to get all the loud parts of it done during the day because obviously I don't want to be like hammering at that thing at night but if I can get that part done then I can do the tile in the evening no problem. The sun just went behind the mountain. Um, the Super Bowl is today. I totally forgot. I don't really care about it but um, all the restaurants are kind of packed so me and Monica are gonna grill here. House is looking nice. So here is the state of this project. I've just given up on it for the day, but not forever. I definitely just need to get the proper chisel. This kind that I bought, I looked online. It's actually for brick, um, which of course is a lot more thick. So it's just too thick and it really didn't work that well. Like the screwdriver and a hammer worked a lot better, but I've kind of messed up the bottom of this screwdriver now. But yeah, I think it will just take a lot less time tomorrow. And it's also a little late in the day to be like hammering and annoying my neighbors. I just got some video clips and I'm going to do a bit more learning sketch up. It's really fun to learn. Well, less fun to learn than to once you know how to do it. It's really fun. Okay, just stopped at Albertsons to get some stuff to grill. And also they had a new healthy kombucha flavor. Pineapple creamsicle? Like that sounds so good. I'm really pumped for that. Yummy yeah. burger. Oh, I don't know, probably like eight minutes. All right, got the projector. I'm gonna take it to the hot tub. Good morning. It is like 7.30 right now. I woke up very early today, like six o'clock, because um, I agreed to go golfing, but I actually have a lot of stuff I have to get done before. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna make some food though. Oh my god, I am so out of shape. We need to get back there. I just did a workout that definitely would have been like not that difficult for me two months ago and I have not been working out consistently. Yeah, not feeling great. All right, I'm ready to golf. Um, making a burger real quick. I guess I'm not totally ready yet, but I'm very glad I woke up early because I got a solid part of this video done. Um, and then I can come back and do like the rest of the editing. I went golfing for a bit. Um, I only did the first nine. I have earplugs in, so sorry if I'm talking loudly. Probably not though. Anyway, I stopped by Ace Hardware and got an actual chisel and it's so much easier now to get this off. So I'm gonna get the rest of the tile off. Dang. Oh, there's a big piece. You're making progress quick. Yeah, those are the most satisfying pieces. So my dad just got here and within five minutes he got the rest of the tile off. Not even, like that was taking me way too long. I feel not great today. I'm just trying to get through some editing I have to get done. And then I really wanna work on tiling that table. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like weird today, physically and mentally, honestly. Okay. I 
it is warm outside, but it is windy. I feel overkill wearing this jacket, but whatever. So I bought this sander, although it did not come with a battery. So I'm gonna quickly go to Lowe's and see if I can pick one up. I'm like, do I need anything other than this sander battery? I don't think so. All right, I think I got the right kind of battery and charger. I also got these protective glasses because when I was taking off the tile, there was like bits of glass flying into the sky, not sky, into the air. And I had sunglasses on, but I was like, Ugh, this probably isn't good, especially sanding. There's tiny little particles, probably just good to have in general for different things. So yeah. Spindrift sent me this top secret new um, flavor. I don't know. I love these things, so I'm going to try it. Okay, this is actually really fun. They said to make it, make sure it's cold first, so I'll do that so it's like optimal flavor. I literally have a spin drift here. I'll have All right, I'll let this charge and go on a little walk. The smell of fresh cut grass, nothing better. There's only one thing missing right now on my walk, a dog. A dog would really, really enjoy this. But I at least have a podcast and the sun is out, it's nice. Okay guys, I'll try this thing out. Here's a before, there's still a bunch of stuff on the table. All right, now I'm gonna place these tiles so we can see kind of how they need to be, which ones need to be cut, because I do need to cut some. And I have a tile saw, I haven't used it, but I'm gonna learn. Okay, placing these. So this is kind of a rough, job at it but that's kind of how it'll be so the sides I do need to figure out and I know a lot of people will probably think this is boring but I think it'll look nice with the uh, couch thing okay I'm getting a dad church consult do they actually fit in there yes except the edge here I was thinking of just doing like skinny ones on the side because I don't want the grout to be huge yeah and it hangs off a bit oh, on the have, edge no these these don't have factory edges really so um, you have to figure out a way something to seal the edge off I mean we could put some little pieces on the end hmm you could you could 45 degree cut them mmm that would be cool it's a little tricky but could be done I'm gonna go to Lowe's to find like an edge sort of piece for this should we measure it good old Lowe's so you wouldn't really see it, right? Except for the no, are, underneath the tile. Ooh. What this? Okay. That feels good. So this is kind of, I think this is good. Well, I'm trying to think, um, not long enough. So that's like the tile I got. So here, it is. So this is a good place to set it. I'm useless. Okay, so what we're doing here is cutting this edge piece that people use just on the edges of tile to make it look a little cleaner and seal it so the tiles don't get damaged. And we're using a hacksaw to try and cut it. And because it's a steel piece, it was kind of tricky. <laughs> I feel like that little saw is better for like wood. With steel is tough. Bringing out Plus, the big guns. You're left handed, right? Right. So. Shit, need some ear protection. Oh. That was so much louder than I expected. Yeah, it just popped off. What? Should we wear some eye protection? Well, now I know why my dad's a little hard of hearing. Um, that's loud. So, are you kind of like. Yeah, so we just cut it there. And then we have to do one over here. Okay, mm -hmm. Shelby's cutting a sluter. Try to get a nice, here I'll hold this hand, this side. 
Long, slow. Yeah. Oh. I like this a lot better than that other electric, I think it was a circular saw my dad was using. I don't know, that just seemed a little bit dangerous. <laughs> so this felt better. So we just cut four pieces of this and we actually didn't have enough. So I had to try and go find some more later, but we just cut it at an angle so that they would kind of like join together in a way that looks good. You see what I mean? Yeah. It looks like half an inch or maybe an inch. You got extra. All right, let's see here. Oops, not bad. No, between the edge of the tile. So I'm just measuring here how much I need to cut, which was about like a little less than half an inch on each side. All right, okay. so this so, is a wet table or tile saw. That's all we're cutting off and it will cut it just fine. You just go slow. Okay. Your fingers through here, no, no problem. Mm -hmm, just obviously not near the saw. Plug it in. Oh, well, that would help. <laughs> Still plugged into the wall, no? Oh yeah, that's not too loud. Okay, so this tile saw was really easy to use. One thing I'll say, we literally put it on top of a recycle bin, like my dad did this because we didn't have a table. And now thinking back, that's a horrible idea. Definitely dangerous and please never do what we did. One. Oh, Let's that's super here. handy that it has a ruler on it. Okay, love that. Like that. And then this side, well, should we cut one on this side to see how it is? Yep, but. So you can see once we cut each of the end pieces, we didn't cut any of the middle pieces, only the end by a little bit, and then they fit pretty much perfectly. Okay. Want to record it? All right, Shelby's first cut on the tile saw. Okay. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see if that works. So it's all already lined up, right? Yep. Okay. So power on. on. All right, so I just cut it very slowly and yeah, it was really pretty easy. I was kind of nervous using this, just these kinds of saws like make me nervous because if you're not careful, you could accidentally chop off like a finger. It looks like we cut maybe a little too much. Yeah. See, there. Okay. That looks good. Put the spacers in. Yeah, that's great. So you like we'll that just look? Cut more Is that like what you're that. You're looking for? Mm -hmm. I honestly like it when they're even closer together, but then how do you put grout? Like, do not? Um, you you can have them closer together, but the grout doesn't stick as good. Mm -hmm. It has to get down in there right. and kind of grab. Then I just carefully cut the rest of the tiles and just want to say again, don't cut with a saw on top of a trash can like we did. <laughs> All right, here's everything space. So these tiles that we cut, I mean, obviously, ideally, it would go to the edge, but I think this is going to be the best solution here. I just need to cut off, like, that tiny little bit. Okay, I didn't try the mystery spin drift yet, so let's give it a go. They said to, like, go like that a little bit. Okay, it's pink. I think it might be, like, a strawberry pineapple. Mmm, very tropical. Definitely some pineapple in there. Mmm. I like it. Quick break from the tile project. I went to some vintage shops over the weekend because my aunt was in town. So me and my mom and my aunt went to go check out all the vintage furniture and stuff. I don't really need any furniture literally at all for the house, but it's always fun to look at. Next stop, Revival. Don't love the look of this, but it would actually fit. Tile store. Looking for that last little piece of edge. We just stumbled across another antique store I've never been to. So hopefully it's stuff that's like, hopefully it's stuff that's like cheaper. Antique galleries. The thing about the antique stores in Palm Springs is they're not like cheap. They're not thrift stores. The stuff is actually really expensive and you really have to know what you're looking for because it's just like so much different stuff. I like the rotary phones though and I also liked the fondue pots that they had. I believe this one is just called Palm Springs Vintage or Antique Store, Antique Mall. Really fun to look through. An overwhelming amount of stuff. Love the fondue pot. Okay. 
Okay. That should be 20. Good choice. See the black button here for reversing it? Yeah. Reverse it both ways. That's good. Okay, time to finally attach the tiles. I wore this outfit that I did not care about getting this mortar stuff on because it's basically cement. So if it gets on your clothes, it's gonna be, it's gonna kind of mess them up. But it's pretty easy to mix up. You just mix it with water and get it to the right consistency and you're good. Ooh, so light and fluffy. Yeah, just plop some around and then we'll start spreading it, yeah. All right, so per my dad's advice, we just put a bunch on the table, but if you were doing a wall or something, you should really do it in sections because this stuff starts to dry. But since it's just a table, we just put a bunch of it on because it was just more efficient that way. We honestly put too much on, but you can always take it off later, so it's all good. So there's just a bunch of globs of it. And then I took a notched trowel, and this basically allows the tiles to suction to this stuff. This is honestly the most fun part of the whole thing. It's really easy and kind of just like satisfying to see it. And then I started to attach the tiles and I was a little nervous because so many people are like, oh my God, tiling, like, aren't you gonna make it crooked or whatever? But honestly, using those little spacers, I feel like it didn't end up crooked. It wasn't that difficult. You just put these little one eighth inch spacers in between. I did two in each so that they're evenly spaced. I liked the one eighth inch look, but I also like the no grout look too. I wouldn't do any wider than this personally. I just don't like the look of that, but this is what I mean. There's, I kind of space them out like two inches apart so they're even. And the nice thing is when you put the tiles down, you can still move them for a little while. Like they're not that stuck until a few hours later or you know, maybe an hour later, whatever. But yeah, this became a whole family affair. My mom started helping. You definitely don't need three people for this, but it was fun. Yeah, what's that stuff they use in that coffee? Okay, the tail table, the tile is all attached and this camera's gonna die. So here's how it's looking. Tomorrow I will grout it and then it will be done and I'll put it back in place, yay. Sadly, accidentally deleted my actual vlog camera footage of me grouting, but this is some iPhone footage I got. So I mixed up the grout, which is different than the mortar used to attach the tiles. These are all things I didn't know before I did this. Then you kind of smooth it over with a grout float diagonally so that it doesn't get out of the lines. After I did it all, it ended up looking like this. I think it looks super clean. I really like it. And then I just took a wet sponge to get the grout off of the actual tile. Um, so I'm speeding up this whole process. It took me maybe like an hour to do, probably less. And I put it in place and here's how it looks. I like it a lot better. I think it fits the space and it was a good like first run through tiling something because it was low risk if I messed it up. But honestly, I think it turned out good. It all looks evenly spaced and it was not that hard. So yeah, it was fun. I, I recommend a little tile project. All right, I will end this vlog here because it's getting kind of long, but stay tuned for the next one. I go to my LA Airbnb. So if you want to see the LA Airbnb, it's pretty cool. All right, that is it for today and I'll see you in the next vlog.